Hi everyone, hope you're well. Um, just thought I would, uh, well, first of all, cheers, let's just have a beer. That's, uh, it's beautiful, that. Um, just thought I'd film a video, really, um, showing you my imports for the PS3. Uh, one of the best things about the PS3 is that you can import games from all around the world because it's got no region lock and there's some great ones out there um, and these are I mean I've included all of my imports here mostly Asia Japan a couple from America so I just thought I'd throw them all in one video so you can uh, so you can have a look um, so yeah let's just get cracking shall we I'll just I'll do the American ones first or um, the ones from America I probably normally get uh, either because something is out in Japan and America and not in Europe, so I'll get the US one, generally. Uh, or maybe it's on Amazon and sometimes a couple of pounds cheaper, so I'll just get the, the US version. Um, first one we'll start off with is Blaze Blue Chrono Phantasma. This is the, uh, the newest in the series. It's a, well, you can see there, Epic... 2D fighting game action. So yeah, I love me fighters, especially you know Japanese style uh, 2D fighters. So um, yeah, so that's Blaze Blue, Chrono Phantasma. Now that's a US version. Um, yeah, so that's the first one. Next one is Catherine. So this did. It's an Atlas title. This. Um, Quite a unique game, actually. I won't explain it, but it's it's a decent game. Um, yeah, this is a this came out over here actually, but uh, I think I got it. It was cheaper from Amazon, uh, US release, so I just got the US version. Okay. Next one, it's another fighting game. Again, it's a, it's a Japanese one, but this is uh, from America. This. It's never came out in Europe. Okay, it's called uh, Aqua Pazza. Uh, Aqua Plus Dream Match. <laughs> okay, uh, again, it's a, it's a 2D, it's a 2D fighter. It's very much similar to the uh, Blaze Blue kind of fighting games. So yeah, that's another one. Uh, this one. It's a, actually a remaster of the classic NES platformer. Really good game. This called DuckTales Remastered. Yeah, I got it when I got it. It wasn't out in the UK, and a lot of these small releases won't come out in Europe. Um, it did come out in, in in the UK about six months later, but uh, anyway, I got the US version. So it's DuckTales Remastered. Really good game. This. If you're a fan of platformers and don't know about it, go and pick it up. Really polished. Uh, Really polished game, very impressive. Just have another beer. Oops. Um, yeah, this one I got for about three quid. I don't know. I was playing out of my move when I first got it, and uh, I like House of the Dead Overkill, so I was getting any shooting games I can. Um, it's rubbish. Uh, it was three pound off Amazon. Next, again, this is uh, this this come out in the, in in Europe as well. Uh, Katamari Forever. Um, I got the US version because uh, it was a bit cheaper and um, the covers far better. It's far far nicer artwork on the front. So we've got the US version of this. And if you don't know about this game, it's where you start off rolling a. Uh, a ball collecting, uh, you know, anything you push into it will collect into this ball, and the ball gets bigger and bigger and bigger. So it starts off quite small and ends up planet size. So it's a bit of a crazy sort of Japanese game again, but from the US, uh, release this one. Right, this is a uh, shoot 'em up. Uh, Mamoru Curse is the name, there's a full name there. 
But uh, yeah, it's a good shoot em up this from Japan. There's not many shoot em ups on the PS3 that you can buy in physical form. So this is a, it's quite a good game. Not the best, but it's got a little shoot em up, um, sort of anime style kind of job. So that is a uh, one from Japan. Next one. It's a, this is a fighting game from Konomi. Um, I'll get all sorts of crap with this. So. Right, that's the title. Okay, I'm not even going to pronounce it. Okay. But yeah, okay, so it's a fighting game from Japan. Um, played it a couple of times. It's, it's not easy to get into or understand, <laughs> to be honest with you. It's quite a complicated, uh, quite a complicated fighting game. Nice graphics and all, but um, yeah, can't quite work that one out if I'm honest with you. Let's have another beer. Next one here, it's another shoot em up. Okay, it's a uh, full title is quite long again. I could just call this Ketsui. Again, I always put these little labels on the inside so I know what they are in English. So that's a full title. It's, uh, it's a cave shoot em up, the only cave shooter that has ever been ported to the PS3. It's a great game, it's beautiful. Uh, so I highly recommend this one. It's, uh, it's a great shoot em up. Again from Japan. Right, next one, it's a Capcom arcade game. Dungeons and Dragons. Um, not like the nerdy board game. <laughs> uh, th this is basically Capcom's um, answer to Golden Axe. And they released two games in the early 90s. Uh, the Tower of Doom. Shadow of Mysteria, and they're both here on on, on this uh, on this disc. So it's quite nice to get these. So that it's a bit like a more in depth version of Golden Axe, yeah, both of them. So yeah, it's, it's a good one to pick up. It's a bit of an unusual release. Again from Japan. So sticking with the Japan theme, as most of these are now, I think. Uh, Phantom Breaker Extra. Okay, pretty simple uh, cover for. A Japanese, but again, this is a 2D fighter. So I love my 2D fighters. So uh, hence, I go shopping over in Japan quite a lot on the internet. So yeah, Phantom Breaker Extra. Okay, uh, another shoot 'em up. Caladrius Blaze. So lovely artwork on the front. Good game. Ah, you probably recognise the artwork on this. This is the physical uh, release of Strider. It was uh, released in the West on the PSN only, not in physical format. Um, so I've, I've got it on the PS4 because I got it for free, to be honest with you, in the end with um, PlayStation Plus. But I've got a physical copy of Strider. Um, really good game. Uh, probably the best uh, action platform game of recent years on any system in my opinion uh, really good uh, if you like sort of action arcade platformers pick this one you know just pick it up or download it if you need to to crack it okay this did eventually make it over here but say so I got it when it first came out in Japan. It's a really good fighting game, actually. I would say it's a 2.5D fighter. Uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, if you remember that from the Dreamcast get days. Um, All-Star Battle. And it's a really good, really good fighting game, this. Guys, you know, really polished, lovely artwork. Yeah, highly recommended. So check it out. Right, so this one isn't a Japanese release. This is, a, I think this was the Asian or Korean release. Um, Darkstalkers Resurrection. 
Okay, um, it's called Vampire Resurrection in the in Japan. Yeah, I thought I was get the Asian release because Darkstalkers, the name is more familiar to me. So it's a good old uh, Capcom fight. It's actually two. Um, it's two fighters together. Okay, as you can see there, a really good sort of Capcom Street Fighter esque. I mean, you'll know what Darkstalkers. It's a it's an arcade classic from the nineties. Okay, recently done a video on this one. As you say, swap the cover now to a Biohazard HD remaster because it sits with my input. Uh, recently came out. Yeah, really polished uh, HD version of the original Resident Evil. Yeah, so check it out if you want to. We've got another recent pick up here. It's a, it's an arcade game in Japan. This by Sega, uh, Fighting Climax. I don't know what the other bits are, I can't remember now, but yeah, Fighting Climax and quite a rare release by Sega really. So yeah, it's a good fighter. Okay, another fighting game, another 2D fighter. Undernight in Birth. Very strange name, but you know, <laughs> you gotta expect these things with Japan, haven't you? Again, beautiful artwork and um Yeah, it's a great game. Uh, last but not least um, is the physical release of Biohazard Chronicles HD Selection. Uh, I got this because there's um, a, like a sort of PlayStation Move um, gun game. Again, when I was into them, a bit like uh, House of the Dead Overkill, um, you know, and it came out on in the West again on PlayStation Network, but not on physical release. So uh, yeah, got hold of this to have a little blast with me gun adapter on the uh, PS Move, which is the only thing the PS Move is good for really, but it is very good at them, and there are some very good games. So yeah, so that's uh, all my imports guys, quite a few there, try and get them all in. So uh, yeah, just thought I'd throw a quick vid up really, um, just to show you them, you know, because I was a bit bored and that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you soon. Cheers.